from the Bath Township Public Library and we have our final kids craft to go for our Oceans of Possibility Summer Reading Program. This week we are making hanging CD fish. So when you pick up your kit from the library, you will have two CDs, um, two sticker eyes, a piece of ribbon, and some construction paper. You also will want a Sharpie if you want to draw scales on your CD, some glue, possibly a pencil if you want to outline your fins first, and some scissors. So to get started, first thing we are going to do is we are going to draw the fins and tail of our fish. So you can kind of make this however you want, how, whatever kind of fish tail you want. You can kind of make it whatever shapes you want. So we're just gonna kind of, and there's, you know, all different kinds of fish, so be creative. All right, so I have a tail drawn there. And now I'm gonna draw the dorsal fin over here. And I included some extra scrap paper, but you might not need every sheet. You know, use as much as you want. I put some different colors in there. And then we're gonna draw a little we're coming down and then we're just going to go ahead and cut out our fins for our fish like I said feel free you can look at books or clip art to get some ideas of what kind of fins and tail you want your fish to have fish are all really different looking So I have our fins and our tail, oh, and we need some fish lips. So the easiest way I have found to do this is to just draw a heart, or just cut out a heart. Maybe you don't even have to draw. Hearts are pretty easy. So we're just gonna cut out a heart for our fishy lips. So here's our heart. Alright, I'm going to move our scraps over to the side here. So now you're going to take one CD and you're going to put it so the shiny side is down. Um, we have a lot of discarded CDs from movies that um, don't work anymore, audiobooks that we don't, aren't in our collection anymore, old music CDs that are broken and don't play. So we have a lot of these that we can use for crafts. They are a great thing to recycle. So you are going to put the writing side up. And you are going to go ahead and glue your lips. Do fish have lips? I guess so. The pouty fish has lips. <laughs> All right, and the tail opposite. I'm gonna go ahead and put my dorsal fin up here. The bottom fin coming out down there. Now we're going to spread lots of glue, or if you have liquid glue or hot glue, but make sure you want to use quite a bit of glue here. It's going to just make it, you want to make sure it sticks really well. So lots and lots of glue. Don't be stingy because you want it to stick really well. Then we're going to take our ribbon that we have, and you are going to just go ahead and press at the top. So kind of going right along your, your top, your dorsal fin up there. Press down two of your ends. This one's kind of a long piece. All right. And that is going to be how you're going to hang up your fish. Now you're going to take your other CD, shiny side up this time. So you're going to press that right on top so it matches up with the bottom CD. This is why you want whatever writing or pictures are on the CD on the inside so they don't show. So when it's hanging up, it's gonna look nice and shiny and whoop. 
one end of my ribbon came out. So I'm just gonna pop that open and stick that back in there and press really good. There we go. Make sure that's pressed down really well so the ribbon doesn't pop out. You can always add more glue if you need to. Now, if you want to, you can take a Sharpie, like I did with this fish here, and you can draw some scales. You can use any color Sharpie. Just, um, you are gonna wanna use a Sharpie though, so that is up to your grown up if they want to let you use a Sharpie. But if you try to use a washable marker, it's gonna smear everywhere. And even Sharpies, you're gonna wanna be careful because you're on a smooth surface and they can smear really easy. And you're just gonna go ahead and make your little scale shapes. You can see I'm kind of making little half like oval egg shapes. And then the next row, we're kind of going from the, to the middle, from middle to middle of the previous row. So, yep, you're just gonna keep going and making your scales. You can make them a different shape if you want. You don't even have to make scales. You could draw circles. You could put stickers on here if you want to, or maybe glue some sequins or gems or cut out paper scales. So it's kind of up to you. I kind of like leaving the CD a little plain because then when you hang it up and the sun hits it, it's really nice and shiny and it looks really pretty. But with every craft, you can make it however you want. Get creative, see what kind of art supplies you have at your house that you wanna use. You could paint it. You could cover the whole thing with construction paper or tissue paper or just leave it plain. That works too. So just kind of keep going. These don't really have to look too perfect. Mine are kind of getting smaller. You know, they're fish scales, so like I said, they don't really have to look super perfect or anything. Okay, and then you can go ahead and do the other side also. Now you have two sticker eyes. So once your scales are drawn on each side, you're gonna wanna put your sticker eye. Or you could draw an eye with a marker, that's up to you, or cut one out of your construction paper if you'd rather do that. And that's how it'll look. And then you can also draw your scales on the other side and you can put your sticker eye on the other side. So it will look just like this one. You see this one's got different shape tail and fins. And they look really pretty when you hang them up in the window and the light catches them. So that is our kid craft to go for this week. Really easy and a great use of old CDs that maybe you don't use anymore or old DVDs. Um, most people don't even have CD players anymore. So like I said, it's a great use to make crafts out of those kind of items. So thank you so much for watching and thank you for joining us for our Oceans of Possibilities Kids Craft to Ghost.